Hey guys, full disclaimer, I am fishing in some very dangerous conditions. I don't exactly recommend this. It's only about two and a half inches of ice, but I got ice picks and I also am wearing a life jacket, life vest. I'm only fishing about three and a half, sorry, three feet and maybe about a foot of sinking in the sand. So um, I'm fairly confident that I will be safe, especially with my ice pick. So don't need to hear anything from you. Before we start, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done that. And let's get to it. Oh, right. what is going on everybody? Welcome to the very next episode of Wheat Fishing. I would like to say, do as I say, or don't do what I'm doing. But yeah, I am going fishing today and it is about two and a half inches of ice. Safe ice is like four inches. So it is a little bit risky, but I am wearing a life jacket, life vest under my jersey. I've got ice picks. It is a little bit freaky. Ice is, whoo, it's cracking every single step I actually take, it's cracking. And uh, it's a little bit risky here, but everything I have is currently waterproof. And even if I do break through, I'm not gonna be very, very deep either. So let's get it. I'm gonna be fishing with the jaw jacker. The only reason why is because it's so clear and the fish are gonna be able to see me. So, ooh. Ooh, those are big cracks, cracks forming. Yeah, fish are gonna be able to see me. So, I don't wanna spook them. We're gonna, we're gonna be playing with the jaw jacker. I'm not gonna be running for the jaw jacker either if I get a fish. So, if you guys don't know, this right here is an ice pick used for clawing myself out in case I do fall in. I did bring extra clothing too. Already, eh? Rainbow. Yeah. All right, I'll let it go then. Oh, that's a huh? good size. They have black spot in this lake. Yeah. Boop. There you go. Just calm it. That's fine. Go. That's a little fatty. Yeah. There you go. GoPro pictures. <laughs> what, you want to take a <laughs> no, photo? It's all good now. It's we'll just screenshot it. Okay. All right, there you go. Little guy. Whoop, gone. <laughs> First one. <laughs> There's still some open water just right over there. No, I lost him! No. Come on! Oh, come on! First tiger of the day. First tiger. Okay. Day. Let's get this guy unhooked here. There you go. And okay. Good. Yeah.
<laughs> Thank you. Well, that was uh, actually really exciting. <laughs> Hopefully I catch some more. First tiger of the year for this ice season. So, had another, had another big one on earlier, but uh, he broke off and I lost him pretty quick. So, pretty happy to uh, catch this guy, that's for sure. So what I basically, oh, look at all this. Water is just kind of melting on the surface. Melting on the surface of the ice. What I'm basically catching them on is, uh, is basically uh, just minnow. So hopefully uh, hopefully that works again. Tigers, they're, they're big predators. So they absolutely love minnows. Where is he? Oh, I see him. I <laughs> wonder if I could. It's a really nice one, eh? Oh, there we go. It's really cool. Just drill a hole right above his head. <laughs> oh, he bolted. <laughs> As soon, okay, as soon as I went right over top of him, he bolted right away, so yeah. <laughs> I got one. And it's still on. He's on good. Ooh, it's so wet around here. Again. Don't want the uh, ice to cut the line here. Let's, let's try to get him to turn his head. Oh wow, he's trying to get his nose up. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, slowly swimming away here. Pass my bag. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> okay, that was fun. That look how wet this is right here. Look at look at this. <laughs> Someone's uh golf balls. Not sure what people do with uh, golf balls around here, but they're here. All right, guys. So that is the end of the video for today. We uh, caught, I, I would say, a couple of fish here and there. Uh, missed quite a few hook sets on the jaw jacker, but it turned out to be a, a really good day. Um, the reason why I was fishing with the jaw jacker rather than standing there and jigging is, well, if you don't remember when I was right over top of that fish, it was a lot easier to spook them. So uh, the jaw jacker is really good for a light finesse, you know, fishing where you're looking to, you know, not overshadow, shadow the fish or make any noises or sounds. Or every time I moved, I'd just make the ice crack. So yeah, that was the best way to fish and that was the best way to get them. 
So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to check out Kit's channel. I'll put the link in the description below and we'll see you next time.